So here we have the Volkswagen Golf Automatic on a 70 plate. Let me start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls from there. As we approach the boot, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further. And then this trade section can lift uh, to reveal the space saver spare wheel. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. In the dead center, you can see we have a digital readout for the speedometer. The information displayed to the left and to the right of that can be changed using buttons on the steering wheel. So you've got various different menus available. Any of these pieces of information that you want stored in that section permanently can be. Uh, the buttons to do that are on the right hand side of the steering wheel just here. We've also got stereo controls over there and voice activation for your phone. On the left hand side, the stereo controls continue along with cruise control. Once you set cruise control, if you hit this button in the middle just here, this car is able to maintain its own distance between itself and the car in front, both speeding up and slowing down automatically based on the car in front speed. And we've done a video that shows that working that you can find on our website and on our YouTube channel as well. Over in the center, we have the touchscreen for the car. So that button there will always take you back to the main menu. Uh, and then from there, you can pair your phone, you can access your radio and the media. And you'll see just there we have uh, FM, AM radio, internet radio. And if you're listening to your own music, uh, you've got a couple of ways of doing that as well. One of which is Bluetooth audio. Uh, so you can stream your music wirelessly in this car, uh, as well as making and receiving phone calls. You can access your satellite navigation. There's a full video showing the sat nav working on both our website and on our YouTube channel. Uh, but essentially just hit that dial there. The information will come up. You can view the map. Uh, from there if you wish to and obviously you can input destinations from that top left hand section uh, working our way down from there we've got the volume for the stereo we can adjust the passenger temperature up and down and the driver temperature up and down or you can adjust it by pressing the climber there and make your adjustments on the screen itself from here you can also uh, access things like your vehicle assist systems your parking camera which as you can see is a full color camera with guidelines that show you what direction the car is headed in or the driving modes of the car. So you can put the car into eco, comfort, sport or individual. And whatever change you make, you'll see there's a different color that will affect the color of your dials as well. Underneath that section, we have two USB-C inputs. If you have a phone that can charge wirelessly, pop it on this pad and it will do so. We have the button to start and stop the engine electronic or uh, well, to put the car into park sorry the gear lever so we've got reverse neutral and drive just here and then we have an electronic handbrake with auto hold function all that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video if you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive please feel free to call any of our mja sites we'd love to hear from you soon